Hey there! Welcome back to another tutorial with Sigoni Macaroni for Tutorial Thursdays. Today we're going to be going over how to create a magic circle. Creating a magic circle is a great technique to learn because I personally think it looks better when you're working in the round and once you get the hang of it, it's even easier to create a magic circle versus using the slip knot method. You will also see that using a magic circle looks a lot cleaner when compared to creating a slip knot. To start your slip knot, or sorry, to start your magic circle, you will take the end of your yarn and hold it with your pointer and thumb and wrap it around your two fingers creating an X shape. Now use your ring finger and your middle finger to hold that in place. Grab your hook and insert your hook underneath the first strand and over the back strand. Use your hook to grab that back strand and bring it underneath and turn your hook towards you so that you're twisting it. Now what you'll do here is grab that working yarn that you were holding on to and chain one. This makes it so that your magic circle is more secure. Now look at that, you've already created your magic circle. Now when we're working in the round, we're going to be creating our stitches or placing our stitches inside the circle that we just created. When you're making your stitches inside the circle, make sure that you're holding on to the bottom half of the circle as well as the tail end just to make sure that it doesn't come apart. So we're just creating our single crochets inside the magic circle that we just created. I'm going to go ahead and single crochet six into the circle. When you have your six stitches, I'm going to pull out my loop just a little bit to, so I don't lose my place. And we're going to grab the end of the yarn and pull tight so that our circle closes. And then you'll see that little hole From this point, you, depending on whatever pattern you were going off of, you would work in continuous rounds or you would slip stitch to the first stitch. And I'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch so you can see what your six single crochet circle looks like. Over the next few rows, you might notice that the hole in the center of your circle is loosening up a little bit, but this is super easy to fix. All you have to do is grab the tail end of your yarn and pull it tight so that your hole disappears and you're good to go. If you've never learned how to create a magic circle, the way you might know now is to chain a certain number, like two, and let's say you're single crocheting, you would single crochet six into that first chain. I'm going to show you the difference between using this slip knot method and using a magic circle. Here you can see both methods that I use to create these circles. Can you guess which one's the magic circle? Yep the one on the left. So this one I created using the magic circle and you can see that the center of the circle is barely noticeable and this is really great especially when you have amigurumi and you're stuffing it so that the stuffing doesn't come out of the hole or it just doesn't look sloppy. So the circle on the right is using the slip knot method and you can clearly see that there's a giant gaping hole 
and it's not as pretty as the magic circle is. That's about it for Tutorial Thursday. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe so that you know when I have new videos come out. I hope this tutorial helped you to create your magic circle. If you have any questions at all, leave a comment below and I will get right back to you.